Welcome, I'm Hero. What you are about to hear is my story. When you see this symbol, pause the video and your teacher will conduct a class discussion. It's the first week of a new school year and I'm sitting in the playground with my friends Reba, Liam, Joe and Monty. We spend the holidays hanging out together or on my pal zone, a social networking site that I love. We're all such close friends, we share one password to access our profiles. It's easier that way. Hey, see that new girl with the blonde hair? Yeah, who is she? That's Anna. She was on my netball team last year and she's a loser. Uh oh, we're late to class and the only available seats are next to the new girl, Anna. I'm not sure what Reba has against her. She seems friendly and funny. Oops, I forgot to turn my phone off. I wonder who that could be. Anna is bad news. As soon as I get home, I log on to my pal zone and see a friend request from Anna. Of course I accept it and it seems cool. Anna's profile has heaps of pictures on it, including ones of her and Reba from Netball. Gosh, my phone again. Who's it this time? Oh, it's Reba again. You and Anna? Friends now? Don't you like Anna? You look like best friends in her pics. I should have won best and first at Netball. Not her. Finally, the weekend is here. Don't you just love weekends? I get to go online whenever I like. Huh, a message online from Reba with a photo of Anna and comments. Hey, I saw that on Anna's profile. Hmm, Reba has clearly been using our shared password to access info on my account. Maybe Mum was right about keeping passwords private. I log into my pal zone to check who's online. Everyone's chatting about the message Reba has sent, about Anna's crazy cat photo. That's hilarious. Wow. Oh, real. Lol. <laughs> Watch out, she scratches. I can't help but think that something isn't right about what Reba's doing. She seems to be teasing Anna. Come on, hero, you'll be late for dance. Gotta go. I'm finally back online. What's this? An email to the group from Reba. This one has the heading, Caption Competition, and has a funny photo of Anna attached. Reba wants us all to write a funny caption to go along with the picture. I've got one, and I think I might stand a chance to win. I know. Uh... Hang on, what am I doing? This isn't right. This seems like Reba is cyberbullying Anna and trying to get us all to join in. Maybe I shouldn't. I call Monty to chat about it. I see you won the competition. Yeah, Anna the animal. Did you see that Reba sent the email to Anna? It might have seemed like a bit of fun, but imagine how Anna feels now. Yeah, I, I guess. I was just going along with everyone. Maybe we shouldn't have been doing this. I might message Anna to see if she's okay. Hi, I saw the email. You okay? No, I don't understand. What did I do? I saw what Reba was doing and I didn't want to be involved. I don't know what to do. I think this is cyberbullying. I don't think you can deal with it on your own. Why don't you speak to your parents or Mr Tilly, the school counsellor? I'm sure he'll know what to do. Thanks, Hero. I will. I wonder how Reba is feeling right now. I mean, she is a good friend of mine, but I really don't think she did the right thing. It's been a few weeks since this Anna Reba stuff. Reba ended up apologising to Anna and understood that what she did was wrong, as did the rest of the group. Cyberbullying is never OK. Mr Tilly spoke to the school about cyberbullying. Now, I'd like you all to remember that if you are ever in a situation where you or someone else you know is being cyberbullied, here are some tips. Report the bullying to someone you trust straight away, like a parent, a sibling, uncle or aunt, teacher or a friend. 
Don't join in. Don't comment on posts, images or videos that could hurt others. And remember, always support your friends online and offline. Thanks for listening to my story. Remember, if you know someone that's being cyberbullied, tell someone. Stand up and speak out.